Hello, I'm Anthony Schlott, and today our video project for you is on the archipelago of Seychelles. Here you can see it is not one island, but an archipelago of many islands, 115 in total. The most heavily populated islands, however, are Mahe and Prasne. As of 2009, Seychelles is home to about 87,000 people. Most heavily populated being Mahe, as you can see by its, by its much bigger size than every other island. The, the capital, Victoria, is particularly heavily populated due to, its, due to it not only being the capital of Seychelles, but also due to its extremely big harbor. Because of this great harbor, it's an excellent fishing spot and a hot tourist resort for many people who enjoy the warm climate of Seychelles. The wet season usually lasts from December to January, and then the humid season begins in March and lasts to usually October, April, and then the coolest season usually lasts from July to August. Seychelles is an excellent tourist resort for many people who enjoy the warm climates, and even if you and even if you don't choose to visit Mahé, there are plenty of other coralline islands making up Seychelles that probably offer a lot of attractions to people who visit there. A lot of its revenue comes from tourism. So if next time you decide to take a vacation, maybe thought, think about coming to Seychelles. Hello, my name is Taylor, and I will be taking over this presentation to talk to you more about the culture of Seychelles. Now instead of having a face-to-face -face talk with me like my partner Anthony did on this board, you will instead be seeing a slideshow while, be, while I hide behind that slideshow to talk to you while you view the beautiful scenery and pictures of Seychelles. The islands of Seychelles were founded by Portuguese explorer Faso de Gama, and it was not until the mid-1700s that French settlers began to colonize the islands with Mahé in particular. In fact, the name Seychelles comes from Viscount John Moreau de Seychelles, who served as Controller General of Finances in France around 1754. A walk in the Fale de Mine Nature Reserve will surely feel like paradise. Theorized as the Garden of Eden, it offers a gorgeous view of waterfalls, gigantic palm trees, and the exclusive black parrot, which can only be found on the island. Valley de Mai is widely known for growing Coco de Mar palms, which produce the biggest tree nuts in the world at 40 pounds. Whether it is a trip for history or relaxation, Valley de Mai is recommended for any adventurer to visit. In 1976, Seychelles becomes an independent nation while remaining with the British Commonwealth of Nations. James Mankin becomes the first president of Seychelles until a coup d'etat forces socialism upon Seychelles and France Albert René takes over. Socialism remained in power until 1993, where a democracy and a new constitution kicked in. Today, Seychelles approximately has a population of 87,000 people, consisting of French, African, and British descents. The island consists of several languages spoken, including Creole, English, and French. Creole is regarded as the nation's first national language, followed by English and French. Seychelles' version of Creole is a mixture of French, Hindu, and English. Creole is often out of context in foreign trades and in the media, where English and French often take over. Today, Seychelles encourages natives and tourists alike to learn the language in schools, books, and institutes. English is known by one-third of the population, whereas French is able to occupy most of its media. In terms of religion, Seychelles is primarily Roman Catholic, with around 85% of the population having faith. The Anglican faith comes to around 7%, while Christianity rounds to only 3% of the population. Furthermore, relating back to the French language, the Roman Catholic religion is practiced in French on the islands, creating all the more reason for Seychellois to learn it.
As you would expect from a tropical country, the Seychellois are often seen wearing clothes that reveal skin on the arms and legs due to the warm climate. As for traditional wear, the women wear dresses similar to Dominican Wabdoye due to Creole backgrounds. Men do not exactly wear traditional clothing. However, they are usually wearing suave button-up shirts and dress pants with or without shoes. Traditional clothing is most likely to be seen during their traditional dances, Sega and Maltia. Both dances are similar as they both derive from native African dances. The Sega is like a courtship dance with shuffling and twist between partners with hardly any touch. Maltia is almost the exact same as the Sega except that it is slower and has a more country sound to it. Seychelles while cooking involves a lot of seafood themed recipes mixed with fruit, vegetables, and spices. Fish are often grilled and served as steak or in soups. Other popular ingredients in their cooking include papaya, coconut milk, mangoes, rice, junior, and garlic, along with other sea creatures like octopus and Seychelles beef or tortoise. From 1794 to 1814, a feud between the French and the British caused rule over the islands to be shifted between the powers multiple times until the British claimed the islands under the Treaty of Paris. 89 years later, after the treaty was signed, did the British declare the islands as a British colony. In 1840, Mahé was given its capital, Victoria, named after the Queen. Besides having beautiful forests, Seychelles provides many beaches responsible for massive tourism year after year. Bouffalon is the most popular beach and is located on Mahé, two miles away from Victoria. It offers luxurious hotels, restaurants, and an ocean safe for the whole family to enjoy. If Seychelles is a part of your travel plan, well, be we sure hope to you enjoyed this presentation by us beaches. on Seychelles. Hope you enjoyed our presentation. Please exit stage right. We hope you have a nice day. Au revoir. Have a safe trip. Salut.